Hello students. In this lecture, we are going to introduce uh, the concept of market basket analysis. Okay. So what we mean by market basket analysis or what can we say about market basket analysis? Some people say that market basket analysis is nothing but immediate extension to association rules. Okay. Whereas some people say market basket analysis is same as association rule with a lot of business outcome. Okay. Now typically uh, this market basket analysis is heavily used in retail scenarios. Okay. Now retail scenarios may be uh, retail store, uh, retail banking uh, or retail insurance and many more. Okay. Now, what is a typical input to market basket analysis? Uh, it is same as uh, association rule. You need to give the list of purchases uh, by the customers over different visits. That means basically you're providing the item dictionary and the transaction database, okay? And what is the output of market basket analysis? Here it is different. Association rule, gives you rules okay that x implies y whereas market basket analysis gives you business scenarios or business questions or answers to those business questions okay that means association rule generate rules like x implies y but market basket assigns business outcome to those rules that means if association rule says x implies y market basket says x and y could be sold together or not okay now let us understand couple of uh, new terminologies in the context of market basket analysis the first one is called expected confidence now what we mean by expected confidence uh, just to recall a couple of older concepts that if we have a association rule x implies y and say capital n is the total number of transaction present in transaction databases then support is equals to x union y count divided by capital n and confidence equals to x union y count divided by x count so basically support means the proportion of transactions in the transaction database that contains both x and y and confidence gives the proportion of transactions which contain x also contains y okay now let's think this that if x is not present what is the probability that y will be present because here we are saying uh, confidence is the proportion or the probability that y is present given x is present now if x is not present then what is the probability that y is present can we compute this probability well surely we can it is very simple it is basically proportion of the transaction in t that contains y okay so basically it becomes the support of t that is y count divided by capital n okay now this term is called expected confidence okay now let us see another a uh, new uh, terminology in market basket analysis that is called lift measure okay so by now we know what we mean by confidence it is how confident we are that y is present given x is present and expected confidence is how confident we are that y is present in absence of x okay now we define lift measure as 
the ratio of confidence and expected confidence that means it is the ratio of y in presence of x and y in absence of x okay now what this lift measure explains it basically explains the change in probability of y over two instances presence of x and absence of x okay now what happens if this lift measure is equals to 1 it means that x actually making no impact on y and what happens if this lift measure is greater than 1 this means the relationship between x and y is pretty significant that means the more is the lift ratio the more significant is the relationship between x and y now let's take a retail case study and use some of the concepts that we just read on market basket analysis okay so we have a, a set of possible uh, shopping basket or transactions okay so we have six transaction in transaction one beer diaper chips aspirin are there in transaction two there are diaper beer chips lotion baby food milk and juice and so on in transaction c we can uh, six we can see beer and chips okay now uh, if you look at uh, the frequent item sets keeping the minimum support as 30 percent we get two frequent item sets okay uh, one is beer and diaper with support 50 percent and beer and chips with support uh, 50 percent okay now from this item set beer and diaper we can possibly create an association rule that beer implies diaper and from this uh, frequent item set we could possibly make an association rule that beer implies chips okay now out of these two rules that we talked beer implies diaper and beer implies chips which rule is more business impactful or we could possibly ask from the market basket standpoint which rule has more lift okay so let's see that rule one is beer implies a diaper and this has confidence of three by four and expected confidence of three by six okay so that boils down to lift of 1.5 okay that means uh, beer and diaper has a pretty strong association similarly for rule 2 that is beer implies chips the confidence is uh, 3 by 4 and expected confidence is 4 by 6 which means it this rule has a lift of 1.1 okay so it is still showing significant association between uh, beer and chips but still this rule 1 that is beer implies diaper has higher lift that means beer implies diaper is more impactful association okay now what the store will do with this uh, association rule and this uh, information that beer and diaper is more impactful association what store can do is store may keep beer and diaper in nearby locations to drive more sales okay